we're going to get out of this video really, really quickly. Now, heads up, I do have the spicy cough, so apologies for the voice. All right, it's this one question here, and part A is just maths methods knowledge. Part B is math specialist knowledge. So we can sort of split these two up. But remember, when I do part A, this is stuff you already know how to do. When I do part B, that's the new stuff. All right, so we have a population of people with a mean 160 and a standard deviation of eight centimeters. We're gonna pick one person at random and find the probability that they're more than 168 centimeters tall. We can draw the normal distribution for this. So mean 160, standard deviation equals eight, and we are trying to find the probability, the area under that curve after 168. Like I said, this is just math methods. Uh, we're just gonna use our calculator, find the probability that X is greater than 168. The probability, distributions, we're doing the normal CDF, a lower bound of 168, an upper bound of like a million, because we're going as far as we can there, a mean of 160 was what the question had, and a standard deviation of eight. And we have an answer of 0 0.158655. All right, so like I said, all of that's math method stuff. This next bit, this is the math specialist stuff. We're gonna select four people, and then we're gonna average their heights. That's the definition of a sample mean right there. So we have an N equal to four, and we want to know the uh, probability that the average of those four people's heights is 168 centimeters. All right. We've got another normal distribution because sample means are normally distributed. We know that the mean of the sample mean is going to be equal to the mean of the population, 160. We're trying to find uh, the f we're trying to find the probability that the average height will be more than 168. So everything feels the same at the moment, but you should recall that the standard deviation of a sample mean is not the standard deviation of the population. It's something different. So the standard deviation of the sample mean is equal to the standard deviation of the population over the square root of the sample size, in this case, four. Um, now, this is direct from your syllabus. It's also direct from your formula sheet. You might recall this from the last video that I made about this stuff, so I'm, I'm not telling you lies. So let's find our uh, standard deviation of the sample mean. It's going to be equal to the standard deviation of the population, which is eight, divided by the square root of the sample size. So that's the same as eight divided by two, which is four. We know that the standard deviation of our sample mean is four. So let's put that information in here as well. Okay, and now we have everything we need to be able to solve this question. So the probability that the sample mean is gonna be greater than 168 is gonna be equal to, let's go over to our calculator. All right, so probability distributions, normal CDF, all right, our lower bound this time is also 168, same as the last time, upper bound, a million, whatever. The mean is the same as the population mean, which is 160, but the standard deviation, and this is the only part that changes here, the standard deviation is equal to, let's take another look at our answer there. Our standard deviation of our sample mean was four, not eight, which is what the population was. I'm really hammering home that point because it's really the only thing that's new and interesting here. And we get an answer of 0 0.02275. So what does this mean? Okay, if you pull four people from this population uh, and you average their heights, there is only about a 2% chance that their average of the heights will be 168 centimeters tall. That makes sense, right? Because the average height of these people is 160. So you would assume that the average height of um, a sample would be also 160. But because we're picking randomly, there's a chance that we'll pick a bunch of tall people. And in this case, there's only a 2% chance that we will pick a bunch of people whose average heights are above 168. So that's the interpretation there. That's it, go forth.